Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is actually the director's cut. Um, they changed quite a bit. They actually uh, went back a few consoles and to a handheld. Held. It, is, it was sent back from, what? what is it? From the Nintendo 64 back to uh, the Super Game Boy. And um, on this game they actually decided to make you play as Mario and the enemy is actually Donkey Kong. Weird, huh? Totally different game. Anyway, I don't. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with that. But I am recording this on the day after the end of the world, December twenty second, twenty twelve. Now, the only reason we're not dead is because I asked Santa Claus to not destroy the world this year. Now, twenty fifteen. That's another matter. I mean, I've heard that they've already like came out with the next end of the world date. I think it's like September twenty fifteen or something like that. Anyway, if you don't know this level, um, uh, we are doing Airplane right now, and uh, sadly, I'm only going to be doing one world this episode. Uh, that's just because the next world's quite long. It might, like, I want these episodes, like, episodes of Super Mario, or not Super Mario, of Donkey Kong to be fairly short. Like, I don't want them to be, oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Okay, don't want to lose the key. Uh, we want to let down the bridge so it can get down, but... I don't want the episodes of this Let's Play to be particularly long, like maybe 20 minutes at the most. But the next world's pretty long, so that would make it get to like 25 or 30. So, only one world this time. Um, how many lives are we at? 85? Yeah, yeah, we can definitely get to 99 by the next world. Uh, this world's not very long, so I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get done here. But anyway, if you haven't noticed yet, the gimmick of this world is that it's, well, not in this level, but it's usually very windy. And, um, that really, it can get annoying sometimes, but it's not that, it's not that distracting. I mean, uh, the levels were designed around this, so it's not like impossible. Some, sometimes it's impossible to do it without that wind. Like, I think we might do it the next level. No, it's not the next level. Uh, no, the level after this. No, no, no. Two levels from now. Um, there's actually a jump you wouldn't be able to make otherwise if the wind wasn't here. Anyway, the, there's wind here. Um, this one, this Donkey Kong level can be kind of hard, uh, depending on what Donkey Kong does. He can switch the, he can pull the switch next to him to reverse the, what, the way those two platforms over there are going. Uh, and if he does it, like, really soon, then it's, like, really hard for you to get down to the switch at the bottom left. So, if that happens, I would just recommend dying and doing it again. Anyway, oh, geez, that was a, that was a short first half the thing. Anyway, this is showing us a, a kind of bullet bill, I guess, where it's basically just a slower shot. Uh, and they can shoot at angles, that too. And... I think this next um, level is really annoying. 92 lives. Um, is this the one I'm thinking of? Yes, it is. Oh my god, this level is annoying. Just because there's so many... Um, I, don't, I don't know what to call them. I guess I'll just call them guns. But uh, half the reason is because of this thing right here. Uh, you have to press up to grab onto it, but I can never seem to do it. So I usually just use a spring to get up. And then, of course, there's this ladder. And you have to get around all this. Ugh, I fell down. You have to get all around this, around all this while they're shooting at you. So, I don't know. It's just multitasking. I, I can't do it that well, apparently. Not in this case. See, I'm... Oh, God. Okay. I guess I'm just going to have to roll with it here. Um, I like how... Um, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic here. Uh, I like how uh, for your hitbox... Ugh, come on. Great. Great. Uh, anyway, I like how your hitbox is still only that one block below the, um, the wire when you're swinging on it. So say, say if you're swinging on it and a bullet goes like right above you, like right above the wire, it won't hit you. Even if you're in the way of it, it won't hit you because your hitbox is still below the wire. Which is awesome. But if you jump, then you, you die. So, not happy. Okay, let's see if we can do this this time. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and go up the right side this time. It looks like that's double jumpable, so I'm gonna try. Uh, yeah, easy. So I probably should have done that in the first place. 
Anyway, you gotta get the key up here and bring it all the way down to the bottom where the door that said help me was. Uh, this is one of the cases where you have to pay attention to where, uh, not the princess, um, Pauline says help me in order to know which door to go in. But it's this one. Now this next level would actually be impossible without the, um, without the wind. Uh, we are not on the airplane anymore, we're on the clouds, yay. Anyway, as you can see, there are some huge jumps up at the top. And that was some major lag. Anyway, I don't, yo, you wouldn't even be able to make that jump right there. Anyway, this is really cool. Uh, you have, you have to use this pole to like sling yourself all the way around there. Watch this. Boom! Oh, so awesome. And the life on the way. Anyway, if you jump on those spikes, you will drop the key, and you'll be in stun lock, and then you will die. So, that's, that's, it's a waste of time. Sadly. Alright. So now, I think the next level is what, yes, it's definitely this level, it's the last one. This level's really long. And, chances are, I'm going to be dying at the very end. I bet, I bet you it's gonna happen gonna happen uh, but it's not it's not hard as a puzzle it's just as a puzzle it's not hard puzzle but it's just really long what you have to do is turn the switch like that and then get down here so the key doesn't disappear and you have to do that like uh, three times I think um, there we go didn't want to hit the ladder um, on the last one down here you're gonna want to hit the ladder because there's you're gonna want gonna wanna there I go saying gonna wanna again god I haven't done that in such a long time on this one, you're going to want to hit the ladder so you can get down. Otherwise, there's not really a good way to get down. Besides, you know, whoa, stun lock, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. We're going to have to wait for the ladder to respawn. Yay. So, yeah. Um, that bolt's coming. Get down. Get down. Get down. No. No. So this is what you're supposed to do. Like I, I, I was right, wasn't I? I died at the very end. So yeah, this is basically the end. Just get the key down there, pull it around, and uh, I forgot to get the ladder, so I'll get it now. And get down here in time for you to get the key. And now, uh, another instance where you have to remember where the door was that she was saying, help me. It's actually the one in the top left corner, so we will head there right now. It's the one on the top of the screen. Uh, so, as long as you don't get hit by that one bullet, that's the only hazard in the whole level. Well, I guess besides the spikes, but you'd have to be pretty stupid to run into the spikes. Or not attentive. Anyway. Uh, the last, the last stage of this episode. I know, very short episode. My bad. Looks like we're only going to be like up to ten minutes. Anyway. This one's kind of a nuisance because if you get into stun lock like this, you could potentially fall off the edge. But the good thing is you can move in the air when you're in the stun lock. And also, um, wind. Wind. So, one hit. Uh, probably two hits. Now I just need to get one more. Um, oh, I should probably should have gone up the left. See, like that, like that. Uh, you could possibly fall off the edge, but I was lucky enough not to. I should be able to get this barrel up to the left. And once again, we have no idea where Donkey Kong is getting his barrels from. But that's the end of him. On to the next world. We're done with you here. So, um, as you can probably see from the background, this is an ice world. And this is showing the mechanic of the fire melting the ice blocks. Anyway, uh, I hope your apocalypse was awesome and your bunker was cozy and I will see you in the next one after we of course put our M graffiti all over the all over the airplane and teleport oh god listen to this music I just like it for no reason lots of people dislike it I like it anyway goodbye see you next time